In this video, we are going to talk about the number of temperature sensors that an air conditioner have and the failure codes that these can generate. Let's start by saying that in most air conditioning equipment, we find two types of sensors. The temperature sensor of the local environment and the well sensor that is in charge of measuring temperature of the evaporator to determine if there is freezing. These are the two sensors that we will mostly find, but with the arrival of the inverter equipment. Seeking to improve the performance of the systems, manufacturers have had to increase the control. The systems and to increase the control they need to have knowledge of a greater number of. This is why we are going to see other types of sensors that we are going to see in this video. Let's start by saying that regardless of the type of sensor, the diagnosis of these will be the same. We must verify the connections of the sensor in case an error occurs with any. It is recommended to clean the connections. Another recommendation is always to confirm the correct position of the sensor. It is also important to have a multimeter to measure the electrical resistance of the sensor being. From the card. The reading is evaluated in kilo ohms and it is verified if the resistance value corresponds to the supplied by the manufacturer. In case the value supplied by the manufacturer is not met, we must touch the sensor, rub it to add, and verify if the temperature, when increasing the temperature, the resistance of the sensor drops. It is also important to verify the power supply of the card to the sensor. The problem is in the power supply of the card. The card must supply a voltage so that the sensor can work. Then we must connect the sensor with the connected sensor, verify the voltage. We can use a kind of tips or needles and measure the voltage with the multimeter on the scale of current voltage. The multimeter can be placed on the scale of 20 volts of direct current DC and the value that we going to read is about 2.5 volts. These would be the steps to diagnose the sensors. Now, when we talk about the types of sensors, we are going to find the local temperature sensor. We'll measure the temperature of the air return to average the temperature of the enclosure that we air conditioning. When there are problems with this sensor, you will mostly find the failure codes E4, E2, and E1. We can also have the well sensor that we mentioned earlier, which is responsible for verifying that. Is no freezing. When there are problems with this sensor, we will find the codes E3, E5, and E2. But in addition to these two sensors, which are the ones that we will find more often, we can find types of temperature sensors. At least we can find in the capacitor a sensor that measures the temperature of the air that passes. The capacitor. When this sensor has problems, we will find error F1 and error F6. To further increase the control of the system, we can even find a temperature sensor at the output. The capacitor. This sensor will measure the temperature of the liquid refrigerant to calculate its cooling that refrigerant has in the capacitor. When this sensor has a problem, the failure code that the car generates is usually F2. Now, we can also find a sensor in the compressor discharge where the high pressure refrigerant out at high temperature. The thinner tube of the compressor this sensor is responsible for measuring the temperature value to take care of the compressor so it does not exceed the values. Very important, especially when we work with refrigerants with high temperature values in the such as R32. When this sensor has a problem, generally the codes that are presented are F3 and F4. Finally, we will find the sensor that measures the temperature of the refrigerant at the suction of compressor. This sensor can help us control the overheating of the refrigerant and thus improve efficiency. These systems control overheating enough because controlling overheating will directly increase. 
if we have minimum overheating, the efficiency of the air conditioning will be greater. When this sensor has a problem, the failure code generated is the code FA. Well, see you in the next video of our channel.